United States. This is over U.S. South Korean military exercises that happen every year. And these threats from North Korea happen every year. But today, the threat is especially heated. A North Korean spokesman says that country is an invincible power equipped with both the latest offensive and defensive means unknown to the world. And the statement includes a threat to attack the United States in the United States. CNN's chief national security correspondent, Jim Shudo, joins me now. And Jim, you know, unknown offensive weapons, a threat to the United States in the homeland. Is this something that officials here in the U.S. are actually concerned about? Well, listen, anytime North Korea talks about this kind of weapon and when they say about uh, their deterrent, they're talking about nukes. And in fact, later in that statement, it mentioned nuclear deterrent. So it's effectively threatening the U.S., with a nuclear missile. When, when you talk to the U.S. military, you know, we know that North Korea has a nuclear bomb. They've tested it three times. There's concern they may do it again. Uh, th there is a belief in the military that they could put one of these warheads on a missile. That's certainly concerning. Uh, but there's always been doubts as to how well they can target it. Uh, and two, can they actually explode that warhead where they target it? So, you know, continuing questions about what their actual capability is, as well as the idea that, you know, as crazy as that leader sounds, they know that the reaction from the U.S. would be so great that it would be, in effect, suicidal. That said, it's an unpredictable leadership. They've done nasty stuff in the past. I mean, remember, they sank a South Korean Navy ship, you know, killed a lot of people. This is a few years ago. So whenever it happens, you got to treat it with concern. No question. So there were harsh words between the U.S. and North Korea, North Korea and the U.S. also really complicated, tense situation right now between the Obama administration and China. The Obama administration issuing a stern warning. This has to do with the fact that there are many, many spies, says the U.S., inside the United States, Chinese spies pressuring Chinese expats. What's going on here, Jim? China is in the midst of an enormous anti-corruption crackdown led by the president, Xi Jinping, and no one is safe from it. They've gone after the former top general in China, some of the most powerful figures there, both, both in business and government, and business and government are often mixed in China. No one uh, is safe from it. Uh, and that's what this president has proven, including people who've come to the States. And this, is, this has been happening for years where the Chinese store a lot of it, make a lot of money. They'll store it here in the, in the U.S. and consider it safe. The U.S. and China don't have an extra, extradition agreement, so they think they're safe. But China's got spies here trying to pressure them to go back and at the same time pressure the U.S., to help them go back, in effect, even though there's no extradition treaty, the U.S. position is this. It's, listen, you share the evidence with us. You tell us that there is a criminal case here. We have a protocol. They do have a protocol. And maybe we'll play ball. And, in fact, in the past, John, you know, I was just speaking to the State Department now. I said, have you ever, have you ever done that before, seen the evidence and helped ship someone back? And they said, yeah, we have done that. Uh, but we have to see the evidence first. So, you know, it's interesting. You know, a lot of these folks might think that they're completely safe when they come to U.S. shores, but there actually is an agreement between U.S. and China, and it's possible. Uh, it is possible. Jim Shudo, thank you so much. Thank you. Coming for us, is this the final straw?